I'm Nathaniel. I am an undergraduate from Duke University, and I'll be sharing on a topic that I'm interested in, representation theory and the theory of locally symmetric spaces. Suppose we have a Lie group G and its maximal compact subgroup K. I'm taking the quotient of G by K, and that gives me the locally symmetric space P, in which the covariant derivative of the remaining curvature tensor vanishes at each point. The way to understand such a locally symmetric space is by examining the Lie algebras of both G and K. First, define an automorphism theta, mapping the Lie algebra of G to itself, such that theta squared equals to one. This causes the decomposition of the Lie algebra of G into P plus K, corresponding to the eigenspaces with eigenvalue minus one and plus one, respectively. At the Lie group level, we would also have a Cartan decomposition, G equals to KAK, where K is the maximal compact and A equals to the exponential of little a, where little a is the maximal abelian sum algebra in P. Now, we specifically consider this locally symmetric space SL3 quotient by SO3. The Cartan involution is given by taking negative x transpose, where x is a traceless tree by tree matrix. This causes the decomposition of the vector space of traceless tree by tree matrices into skew and symmetric tree by tree traceless matrices, as shown below. In my research, I was trying to understand the second Betty number of the compact quotient of this space. In doing so, I had to understand the second exterior power of the complexification of P, in particular, how it broke down into SO3 irreducible representations. I first chose a Cartan element in the Lie algebra of SO3, and then via the adjoint action on the complexification of P, I was able to decompose the space. In particular, what I did was I picked a lowering operator as shown below, and considered its action on the eigenspaces starting with a highest weight vector, this lowering operator lowered the eigenvalues of these vectors. What I obtained was a decomposition of a second exterior power into a three and seven dimensional irreducible representation of SO3. And this is how we decompose spaces into irreducible representations. The goals and objectives I have in pursuing graduate school is to eventually be a math researcher in academia. Along the way in graduate school, I hope to publish papers in differential geometry that express a greater interdisciplinary understanding of the mathematics I'm studying. In particular at NYU, I hope to study the intersection of algebra, geometry, and analysis. I feel I'm a good fit for NYU's graduate program because of my strength in geometry and geometric analysis, given the research project I am currently undertaking and the independent study on general relativity and geometric flows that I did with Professor Hubert Bray. I believe that the faculty members, Professors Bruce, Bruce Kleiner and Chao Li would be a wonderful fit for me. In particular, Given my interest in working with Hermitian symmetric spaces and Kähler manifolds, I believe that my research interests will make me a unique fit to also work with Professor Valentino.